Oh, hi there. Uh, you caught me measuring the distance between my nostrils with this vernier caliper. Actually, today's lesson we're talking about tools for measurement. And the vernier caliper is great for measuring the inside of things or the outside of things. It gives very precise measurements. There's a lot of tools that you can use to measure. You've got the tape measure here. That's great for when you're building. You've got a ruler for small measurements. This trundle wheel, this is for large measurements. This is actually not the right size. It's, you know, very big and it goes along the ground. Anyways, it's really important in measurement that you know how to use these tools and when to use which one. We're going to go through that today. Hi class, today we're talking about measuring devices and we have three different measuring devices here. We've got the trundle wheel, the tape measure, and the ruler. And you know, a, a ruler might not be so helpful when you're measuring the length of a football field. It's just too small. So you'd use something like this trundle wheel. It's, it's a, a wheel with a rod and a handle and you just roll it along behind you as you're walking across let's say a soccer field and it gives you a measurement and you count the clicks of the measurement. We've got the tape measure. Hey, this is great for when you're doing construction work. You know, it comes in and out and you can hide it. You can put it on your belt loop. And then of course you've got the ruler. We've got some other things here to measure very precise things like this vernier caliper or the micrometer. All right, these are a little bit more difficult to use and so I want to go through how to use them. The first thing to understand whenever you're using like a micrometer or let's say the vernier caliper is that you often have like a coarse measurement and then the fine measurement and you have to add those two things together. So let's talk about this micrometer. All right, when you're looking at this barrel here as you wind the barrel and squeeze whatever you're trying to measure into there, this barrel winds, all right? And then it gets to a certain point, and right there, that's the really important point. So what you do when you get there is you look at the line that you can see, okay? And you start with that. Well, that line that you can see is, well, it's not six, it's six, and then there's this little half here. So that's 6.5, and we call that the course reading. But that's not it. We also have this barrel that we're rolling and we use this part here to help us measure as well. And so we can see that we've got a 35 here and a 40 here. So that's 40, that's 35. And we've got this line here that is going just under 40. So it's at the 39 here. So then we're gonna add the 6.5 with the 0.39, okay? this barrel reading and that would give us 6.89 millimeters all right so we also have something like this vernier caliper we would measure whatever we need to measure in here okay or we can measure the inside of certain things okay like you can measure the inside of this bracket here all right and where we find our measurements are right around here okay a great way to, to look at this here, this is a good one, is to say that, yeah, we've got this extra space here that we're not really measuring, and so that helps us to define what we're measuring over here. And this zero right there, that's the most important part, okay? So what we do with using a vernier caliper is, okay, we take this and we're going to expand it out a little bit, all right? So we find that zero, and that zero gives us a line right before it. What's the line right before it? Well, in this case, and we're going to talk about the SI system, this gives us 13 millimeters, okay? If we were actually talking about the imperial system over here, you could see that that is actually half of an inch, okay? So we call that half of an inch, all right? But we're not done. That's the coarse reading. We still need to get the vernier sliding scale reading that fine reading and that comes when we're lining up these lines here and down here and we have to find where do these lines line up well in this case we can see they line up here or in the SI system it lines up here well this gives us if we look at that one that will give us three of whatever this is so it's three one twenty eighth of an inch okay all right, if we were talking about this one here, then we have this one lining up the best. These are kind of off-centered, 
over here and over here. So we find which one lines up the best. Okay, so that's going to give us 3.5. So that's 0 0.35 millimeters that we add to what we've already found over here, which was the 13. So we have 13 plus 0 0.35 millimeters, and we get 13.35 millimeters. The imperial reading, a little bit more complicated, but we got our half inch plus our three one twenty eighths of an inch. That's going to give us, you know, a little bit tougher math, but 67 over one twenty eighth of an inch. All right. It's not too difficult. You just need to know what you're doing when you're reading this. Hope you can figure this out from what I told you. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah.